it's, it's exciting waking up every day and having something different to look forward to, something different to learn. There's a, a lot of opportunity in net zero technology. Things have changed so much and are still changing on a sort of weekly basis at the minute. What we try and do within our designs is look at not today or old technology, but the technology of tomorrow. So this is Swansea University Bay Campus. Uh, this is a new purpose-built campus that was started back in 2013. We're currently here today because we're working with the university on a new and exciting project, which is looking into innovative technologies, which could revolutionise the way we develop projects going forward and ensure that things are sustainable and low carbon. Going forward, for the shift to net zero. We've got a huge job ahead of ourselves. There's a massive opportunity there for UK PLC and local industry to start scaling up. It's vital that we start looking at the skills that are needed and how we help supply chains and businesses adapt. Our electricity systems have been in place for decades and they tend to have been based on a centralised approach and now this is changing to a decentralised energy generation version. It's critical to remember that the technologies we need are available now to get the job done. Morning Chris. Morning Mr Jenkins, how are you? Yeah, good, you okay? Yeah, not too bad today. Um, and as you can see, carport yeah. went in over the weekend um, with solar panels installed on that now as well. So uh, yeah, good progress at the moment. A lot of the technologies that we work with at the minute is all around net zero carbon and not just the technologies in isolation such as PV or battery but the integration of all the technologies together in line with control systems such as smart microgrid controls that will maximise energy efficiency and ensure that carbon is being reduced as far as possible. This is uh, 135 kilowatts of solar PV. This is going to be linked back now into a, the, the new GRP just down below which then will feed the battery energy storage system and will, can also directly feed back then, should the battery be full, to the EV chargers or it'll feed back into the school and management building, which in turn supplies the building just below us. So the job of the microgrid controller is to coordinate the most efficient way of using the energy and where to use it from. So it will take tariff information, future weather and everything else that, that is collecting and use the energy from the most efficient place at that time. This will feed into a portfolio of research uh, which we're going to be working collaboratively with Swansea University and our colleagues there to create further knowledge for the industry and help the wider industry scale up to net zero. Any companies that are considering investing in training and technology, I'd say go for it. It's something that's not going to go away. It's something that's only going to grow and therefore make that commitment and I believe that it'll, it'll pay off.